Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title of this video, I will be reviewing Birchbox. This is not a paid review, um, it's simply because I have ordered one before, which I was slightly disappointed about. Then there was a big hype about the, uh, the August box as you get a spectrum brush. So I'm really excited to see it and I'm hoping that it'll be better and if it's worth the money, I'll let you guys know. I mean, the last one, £10, for what you get, which is not that much, I think it's about five items in a box, mm, I don't know if it's really worth it, especially as you don't know what you're getting and some of the things you already have and you're thinking, mm, is there really any need for this? So I'm gonna open this box and we're gonna see what's inside. I'm super excited, this is what it came in, this is what it looks like, super pretty, even the outer packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys. Right, last time when I did this I scratched the actual box on the inside and anyone who know, knows me, I absolutely love boxes. So I'm going to try and not do that this time and I may have done that. <laughs> okay, let's see, okay. The box is <laughs> gorgeous, look at it, oh my goodness. It is superb, super pretty, definitely keeping the box, if anything, at least. I love the box. So, what's inside? Okay. <gasps> okay, so the Spectrum brush, as it came in a packaging. Oh my goodness, it's really nice. So this is what it looks like. You could choose between these two. You could choose the pink one or the turquoise one. And of course I had to go for the turquoise one. It's very pretty and I absolutely love it. So, I'm really happy with that. Next, what's this? So it's, it's in French. Oh no, look, it says it in English as well. Uh, sugar texturizing spray. I'm guessing it's for your hair. <laughs> okay, it helps transform limp, lackluster strands into loose waves or soft velvety texture. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Okay, we'll see how that is. I mean, I'll try it out and see what that's like. Right, next is a mud mask. Okay, and I've actually wanted to try these out a few times, so I am super excited. It is from Wish, Renewing Mud Mask. I, okay, I will try this out. Let me see what it smells like. Oh. Can't open it now. Sorry guys. <gasps> okay, that was all. That was super, oh, okay. I was not expecting that. Maybe I should like clean this up. Well, anyway, now I'm trying it out. Okay. Smells nice. I'm not really sure how much is in there. It doesn't seem like there's a lot. I mean, this is what it's like. It's just, it's just a simple mud mask. It smells nice. I will try it out. Maybe let you guys know what it's like. But bear with me one second. I'm gonna go wash some of my hands now. <laughs> okay, so now I've cleaned up that mess. Let's see what else is inside. Okay, so I've got the mud mask. And what else? This is a one and done shadow stick out of your shell from Lock or LOC. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see. Open it. Oh, can't open it. Okay, I'm not having much luck with this. Okay, okay didn't that did not go too well? So, well, I will show you, but I've accidentally broken it trying to get it open. Anyway, I, will, I think you can sharpen this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Well, I can't exactly draw your swatch, I'm very sorry, but, mm, I mean, for what it is, I think it's nice. <laughs> and lastly, you get a multi-purpose dry base and body oil. Okay, this is from NUX, or N-U-X-C, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, from Paris. And it is called multi-purpose dry oil face body and hair you can even use it for your hair okay I did not expect that 
it nourishes, leaves a satin finish and illuminates. So I'm not sure how this would work on your hair. I have a feeling it would just make it super oily, but I mean, I might give it a try and see if that would work, but I'm not sure. Okay, which is very glittery. And it doesn't come with a brush or anything, so I have a feeling when you put this on, as always, too much will come out. Let's try, <gasps> yep, as I thought. Okay. Well, anyway, let's mix it in. That's what it looks like. And you mix it in. Oh my goodness, it's super glittery. Oh my goodness. But, I mean, it's nice for, like, actually, do you know what? It's not too bad. I was expecting it to be really glittery. And I thought, mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. But, I don't know if you can see it, it just adds like a shimmer. And it smells amazing. So, definitely, that was really good. So, overall, I'm quite happy actually with this month's birch box. I'm gonna try not to touch this and get it all oily. I'll put that over there. So, I'm super happy with it. Definitely better than last month. Um, I'm not too sure what it's like. I mean, for what it is, obviously, because you're getting only sample sizes, I think £10 is worth it. But, mm, depends, because obviously sometimes if you get the box that you're not really too keen on, you're thinking, why did I waste £10 on this? But it's not too much. And to be honest, with the addition of the Spectrum brush, that was definitely worth it. So it was definitely worth um, getting it this month. So definitely I would say try it out. I mean, you can quit at any time, so there's nothing to lose really. And I absolutely love the box, so I think... <laughs> The, the most exciting thing for me is the box and the spectrum brush so I'm super happy definitely if you like this video subscribe and link comment below what else you would like me to do and follow me on Instagram bye so the first product that I'm going to be trying out is the wish mud mask I've been reading the back of this and I'm kind of super nervous about this because it says that it acts the same way as a facial peel. Now my face is very sensitive so I can't imagine what this is going to be like. Um, it says it's supposed to make your face smooth which and like exfoliate your face. Um, however it does say apply a thin layer to clear face. Uh, carefully avoiding eyes, begin by leaving on for 15 seconds and work your way up to 2 minutes. So I'm very nervous about this because I can't imagine, I don't know, I just hope it doesn't burn. I have my water here and a cough and in the worst case, I'm not sure. So let's just try it out. Um, okay, right. Let's hope it doesn't sting. <laughs> So far, so good. I'm not supposed to be putting it on the eye. What am I doing? Don't do that at home, guys. <laughs> I would say this is a thick-ish layer. I'm not sure it said put a thin layer on. I might have put too much. Right, so while I wait for the 15 seconds, first thoughts, slightly tingly, not burning, which is good, smells really good, and it's not too bad, so let's just see after. It says you could experience redness, and with me that's quite likely as I have sensitive skin, but we will see when I take it off. So now 15 seconds is probably over, so I will start removing the mask. Right, it says when removing it, uh, use a wet cloth and rub it in circular motions to exfoliate your face at the same time. Okay, so the main reason I didn't leave it on for too long says you can leave it up to two minutes. Now I didn't feel any burning sensation so I could have left it on longer. However, I know my skin is sensitive so as you can see already, it's quite, mm, it's not too red, but I can feel it, it's slightly irritated. So, to be honest, I wouldn't, 
I'm glad I didn't leave it on too long. I don't think, I mean, I think it's a great mask. If you have sensitive skin, I'm not too sure if you would like, if it's any, if it's good to use it. I mean, right now I'm already think, feeling, um, my face is very irritated. So I would say probably for people who don't have sensitive skin like me, this would be very good because my face does feel much smoother and it does feel exfoliated, even though the mask itself is very smooth. However, I don't think I would be using it again, sadly, because it's it's too strong for my face. I mean, my face doesn't agree with scented creams or anything scented, so I think this is not for me. But overall, it is a great product. Next, I'll be using the One and Done Shadow Stick, which I got in my Birch box. I have broken it, and one thing I will tell you about this, it does not sharpen. It doesn't sharpen, you can't twist it to get any more so I did want to show you what it's like because I managed to try it out so what I did I managed to sharpen it using a knife just for you guys to have a look and see what it's like I think it's great and I will definitely be buying this again when I first saw this I thought uh, do I even need this what is it even for and to be honest it's so much better and it helps your eyeshadow to stick on so much nicer. this also helps in using white eyeshadow to make the white much whiter I mean every time I try and put white eyeshadow on my eye it's very it's not that pigmented and I mean I've tried it from quite a lot of different brands even the Naked palette and the Vintage Effect palette and it just is not that bright so what I use, I use this now, well now that I've known know of it I will definitely be buying more and it helps so much better so much more I just use it to create a cut crease Now bear with me because this is not sharpened at all so of course it's very hard to use. I'm hoping that the actual one, because obviously this is a try sample from, um, from the Birch Box so I'm hoping that the actual product it's either you'll be able to sharpen it or, um, or be able to use it more. Right, now it's not blended in at all. I might just use a just an old fashioned eyeshadow stick or whatever this is called, brush, sponge, I don't know, but I'm gonna use one of these to just blend it in. And yeah, it doesn't matter too much, as obviously you're gonna be putting eyeshadow. One more thing I'm going to try out for you guys is from the Birch Box. Um, I will be trying out the Sugar Texture Dressing Spray for you guys. Um, if you guys want to see how I did this look, make sure to keep an eye out for my next video, which is coming out next week. Um, but I will be trying this out now for you, just to see how it is. I'll be trying out the Sugar Texture Dressing Spray from you from the Birch Box. Um, if you like this look, make sure to keep an eye out for the video, which is coming out next week. Um, so I will be trying this out to show you guys how it is and if it's any good. So here we go. So it's lightly sprayed to damp or dry hair and style as you desire. Or air dry or blow dry. Right, I will, what I'm going to do, I will try and scrunch it up and go for the messy look. I'm not sure how this is going right now. It's not bad. I do I don't think it's bad. I think it actually did make it, it did give it a nice wave. Okay, now that I've tried it out, I think I've changed my mind about this spray. This spray leaves your hair very sticky and it's, it really doesn't do much. I have had, I mean at first it seemed like it was going well, but it just doesn't seem to stay scrunched up. I've had much better um, texturizing sprays and this is really not doing the job. I thought it was going well, but it's, it just, it helped a little bit, however, it does leave your hair very sticky and my hands are very sticky as well. I, do, I don't think I would recommend this. In my opinion, I wouldn't be buying this product again. 
and I'll just stick to using my normal hair care products but um, yes I think it's definitely way too sticky and it didn't really do much so now I'll probably have to wash my hair again <laughs> but yes hope you like this video and hope this was hope this was help for you guys let me know what you guys think what do you think it looked like if you think it's worth it but I honestly would give it a thumbs down I don't like it and I don't think I'll be buying this product again